Hey, welcome, it's Leanne, and I wanted to record a quick video for you guys on uh, Twitter and Twitter Karma. So I'm looking at one of my team members' pages, and I see that she's hitting Twitter hard, which is great. Uh, so she's got everything set up, and you can see she has 911 followers, and she's just been doing this for a few days, which is awesome. Um, but she's following 2,000 people, and the thing about Twitter is that when you first start out, you have a cap on how many people you can follow, and that cap is 2,000, okay? Um, and the problem is that now she's kind of stuck because she can't keep going. She can't keep adding people, and without adding people, you're not going to get a lot of followers. So here's what you do when you're in this situation, when you're just starting out on Twitter and you've got, you're already following too many people. It's not letting you follow anymore. What you're going to do is you're going to go to this website. It's dossy.org, D O S S Y dot O R G forward slash Twitter forward slash karma, K A R M A. Okay, and it's your Twitter karma. So again, the address is right up here, dossy.org, Twitter karma. And what you do is you type in your Twitter ID and your password and hit whack. Now, my account has a lot of people, so it takes a long time to load. So I've already loaded it up here. This is the page that you get to, and you start to see all the people that are in your account. Now it says showing 5,438, I have 5,438, uh, 16 are only following me, uh, 45, 33 are people I follow and they follow me, and 889 are just followers, meaning um, <clears throat> meaning I think they just follow me. So I'm, I'm only following 16 people. So what I'm going to do is, um, I like to sort of by last updated, but you can, you know, you can change it by follower count if you want, if you want to make sure, you know, people have a lot of followers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show only following. Those are the people that I'm following. And you're going to see, yep, just in green. Okay, so I'm looking at these people, and some of these people I might not want to have on my account. Like this guy right here, um, I follow him, but he's never updated, so if he's not active, I don't want to follow him. Uh, this guy never updated. Uh, this person never updated. Now, Mike Dillard updated seven days ago, but Mike Dillard is a big guy in the industry, and I like to see what he has to say, so I'm going to keep following him. Um, this person updated 18 hours ago. Um, you know, it could be that I added them uh, before their last update, but, you know, really don't need to follow them. Uh, don't need to follow this person 18 hours ago. Um, Natalie Pace, not sure if I know who that is, so I'm just not going to follow. Um, don't really care about smoking. Ellen Shaw, I'm going to follow even if she doesn't follow me. Seven Rex, I don't need to follow. Don't know who that is. John Carlton is a big copywriter. I like his stuff. I actually have his course, so I'm going to keep following him. This guy, I don't know personally. Um, this guy updated an hour ago, and he's not following me, which kind of tells me he's not going to follow. Um, but, you know, if you've just followed a bunch of people and you haven't given them a day or two uh, to follow, you know, you can just kind of keep it there. Um, let's see. Windsoft News. Um, so people that I just probably followed just a little while ago and aren't following me and they're updating, I'm going to leave them there for a day or so before I get rid of them. Perry Marshall, another big guy, uh, big into AdWords, um, so I'm going to keep following him. And Ellen DeGeneres, I'm going to keep following because I'm a fan. Um, so I've got, I've got the people checked that... Um, that I'm following that I don't want to follow because they're not following me back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bulk unfollow those people. Okay, bulk unfollow. Now what's going to happen if you have 2,000 people and you're only 900 are following you, that means about 1,100. You're going to have a list of 1,100 people. It's going to be a huge window, right? <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do probably is just check all. Okay, you're going to check all. Then you scroll through, and if there's anybody you really want to follow, you know, some of the big guys, Mike Diller, maybe John Carlton, maybe, uh, you know, maybe you want to follow me, you see what I'm doing. Um, then you go and you uncheck the people that you really want to, you really want to follow, okay, because you, you care about what they have to say. You uncheck them. And then when you're ready, when you've unchecked all the people, then I'm going to uncheck these guys because I haven't given them a chance yet to follow me back. Um... <clears throat> Once you've got everybody fixed up, you're just going to click on bulk unfollow. Okay, bulk unfollow, and it says your bulk operation has been submitted, um, and you give it a, uh, an hour or so, and your Twitter account will be updated.
Okay, so that's what you want to do if you're in this situation. You're following 2,000 people. You only have 911. You want to keep adding followers. You you want to keep following people to give people a chance to follow you. That's what you want to do. You do want to give it, you know, at least uh, at least two days uh, between between following and deleting because some people you know will come on after a day or two and will update anyone who takes longer than two days to come and update um, really not necessary to have them on there okay so again it's dossy.org twitter karma and that was a little five minute spiel on how to get more twitter followers especially when you're starting out